Hello everyone, it is Jacob here and I'd like to show you like the upgrade that I was talking in the last video. I will not be showing the entire build because I fixed pretty much everything and not many things changed. I just made some upgrades. So if you want a detailed go through over the my, over my current build, just check the last video, please. And I was talking about buying the amulet with plus six skills. That upgrade itself gave me like double the damage as I talked about in the last video but if you pair that with uh, getting a grudge candle and then swapping flame spirit into the mix because I don't e I don't need the explode anymore I'm from 200 billion from the last video in the farming setup I, I have to say I'm getting to around 800 billion in the farming setup with bloody steps and if I swap I will not be doing it here if I would swap to full damage with damage packed spirits and um, what is it called mana boil I'm getting to around 3 to 4 trillion DPS so that's that's finally getting somewhere that made that led me to um, Supreme Showdown 18 quite comfortably the damage does not feel comfortable to clear 19 yet but I will slowly get there so the only upgrade I got, the truth, I've bought it for around 7k, prices are dropping down so you should be able to get it for cheaper and the candle cost me <coughs> around 4k. I also bought a level 21 Icebound Beam and I was thinking about buying like higher roll uh, Icebound Beam Ring Blade Noble and the support for this slot, uh, the, the other Icebound Beam support, uh, but <coughs> those are, with, with Max Rolls, those are going for 2 and 3k FEs, so I'm not going to do that right now, and also I'm, I will start focusing on getting to level 100 and swapping out guard, would, I would lose barrier for swapping out guard, and just for the leveling, I want to get as much like survival survivability as possible. So I will keep the barrier until I get to level 100. Then I will swap to the Icebound Beam support there. And I will probably also swap precise projectiles for elemental resistance. Just for the sake of leveling from level 99 to 100 like safely. It will not make me immortal, but it will make me much safer during maps. So yeah, those will be my two swaps for leveling. But this is the damage setup. If you want even more damage, <coughs> you can swap protection field for superpower. And that, that, will net, that, that would net you like 10 or 15% more damage, pretty much. I'm swapping that for 4% like damage mitigation here and that's pretty much everything I changed um, I also uh, bought uh, activation medium preparation with 7 seconds cooldown and 34% cooldown recovery speed and linked it with or secret origin unleash and I did the same for Um, yeah, I did the same for the mana ball setup that I bought activation me preparation medium with seven, se 7 seconds cooldown and cooldown recovery speed just so it lets me slot in well fought battle and still keep 100% uptime on the max charges which scale the uh, effectiveness from uh, mass effect from this one you want to be on max charges when the skill gets triggered so we can check it here 
like the uptime on the secret origin unleash with the activation preparation medium and the cooldown recovery lets me get to free charges and then it gets cast on free charges while keeping the buff up indefinitely as you can see it is just recharging and mana ball is up until you lose all your mana basically <clears throat> so yeah you just need to be hitting something for you to be able to keep mana ball up but on bosses that's that's the case you are on max mana uh, or, or you have mana all the time because we are regenerating mana or regaining mana when we are hitting monsters that's from passive tree so yeah for the future upgrades um when i swap to damage pack spirits i get to around 4 billion dps 4 trillion dps as i said so yeah i won't be showing it here that's that takes time but for future upgrades i will focus on getting the rest of the gear to level 100 bases because what that will let me do there are different mods that will let me get like more movement speed on boots because i will be able to get movement speed to tier zero and that will also let me get like deflection stacks which provides you with 30 percent uh, damage reduction when you are moving because you're generating deflection stacks every six met six meters moved and if you are moving fast you are just regenerating them quickly uh, it will also let me get plus two cold skills here and some more defensive rolls so it will increase my survivability while also increasing my damage a bit because on other pieces it will let me get tier zero intelligence rolls and such so yeah it will also let me get like defense roll on belt for example um this one which this defense roll will scale all the passive energy shield that i get from my passive skill tree and slates like the six energy shield per five intelligence or per three intelligence or whatever the mod is uh this one it will scale it by 20 percent so yeah i will be going for that one hopefully we'll be getting to over 20k energy shield it also get a, get in some physical damage mitigation on my helmet so yeah so as you can see at first i was focusing on the guaranteed upgrades like getting the weapon tier one is pretty much guaranteed that that does not cost that much money but getting tier zero mods then that takes some clicking if you get unlucky like one click on this plus five spell skill costs 360 and then like 12 of these which they cost 20 each so that's like 600 fe's per click and it is 30 percent chance but i had to click 12 times to get this to tier zero so imagine clicking this to tier zero and failing 12 times so I'm clicking the cheap mods, I'm willing to click the cheap mods which I did on this stuff but for the rest I will just focus on getting guaranteed upgrades elsewhere that's why I saved 7, 7k for the amulet that's why I bought the armor for 2k uh, that's probably also why I will try to get the gloves with additional cold damage and crit damage corrupted just to get more, da more guaranteed damage here while not gambling basically on trying to get get in tier zero mods and yeah that's pretty much it so for for future upgrades i will be getting ring with focus blessing so i have to get level 100 ring with focus blessings and pretty much the same mods just the focus blessings on uh pretty much the same mods as here but tier one basically that's what i, I will be going for so copy of this ring with tier 1 mods and uh, erosion resistance instead of lightning resistance and then physical damage reduction on helmet more movement speed on boots that's pretty much it so yeah that's it uh with, with this kind of damage like i'm 
finally satisfied with how fast I can clear maps. So if I go to a map just real quick, I can just move and I don't have to like keep going back, stopping for a rares or things like that. So as you can see everything just pops. And uh, that's the reason why I will not be focusing on damage mainly anymore. I will be focusing more on survivability and I will start trying to get the levels or get the experience faster to get to level 100. Um, someone might be in interested on what strategy did I use to farm the currency. I mean the strategy is not optimal because the prices of the items that the strategy focuses on is no more like the, the items are no more um, as high value while compasses are going up in price but maximum ice with guaranteed war and pair that with uh, pretty much like beacon tree and a little bit of drop chance and blue monsters because blue monsters drop mo drop maps through compass <coughs> i also took four points in the nightmare tree yeah, to have chance to get these thingies but yeah that might be a next video maybe for the farming strategy but yeah th there are definitely more optimal strategies for now because the eyes are not as pricey as they were before they were going for around four or five hundred they are going for 320 now per full stack so yeah that's almost 40 percent drop in price but yeah uh that's it for this video thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one. Bye!